G'day and welcome to another edition of Hef's Beer Reviews. Today I'm reviewing this beer here. It's called Bounty Hunter. It's a rum barrel aged stout from Seeker Brewing in New South Wales, Australia. It comes in this 440ml can, 10.5% ABV, so three and a half standard drinks in this can here. Uh, this was Seeker's entry into Gabs, and from my understanding, it actually won the People's Choice Award at Gabs, so very highly acclaimed. I've had it sitting in the fridge for about five months now, actually, so very keen to crack it open, see what it's like. I actually got two cans, and um, I'm going to hold on to the other one for a few more months and see how it ages. Uh, the last big stout I did, I uh, cracked the can and pre-poured before it started filming to let it warm up a little bit. This time, just got the can out of the fridge. I've had it sitting out for just over 10 minutes now. Crack and pour. Spiegel our stout glass. All right. I can certainly smell the rum influence on this one. All right, let's have a look at a good looking beer. Very dark. Uh, it's not quite jet black. I can see just a, a hint of light getting through at the bottom, although you probably can't see that on camera. And we've got uh, a couple of fingers of uh, a very nice looking tan head there. Not sure. Uh, if it'll stick around with a high ABV, but let's see. Aroma. Oh. Oh, wow. That smells amazing. Okay, I can definitely smell smell some rum sweetness. Uh, there's a rich chocolate aroma. There's some vanilla. Oh, that just smells absolutely delicious. Better dive in. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Full bodied as you'd expect. And the taste follows the nose. It's rich. It's thick. Uh, I'm getting getting the rum coming through um, and some sweetness. The chocolate is there. There's a definite vanilla note. Um, the dark roasted malts are there in the background. Yeah, it, it's a sweet finish. Um, I'm just getting just a, an ever so slight hint um, of dryness there, but it, it's quite sweet in the finish. The alcohol is present. It, it's boozy. A um, little bit of warmth. I must say, though, uh, if I was going in blind, I don't know if I'd quite pick it at ten and a half. Um, maybe somewhere around the eight mark. It, it, it's still reasonably drinkable, although obviously... Uh, I would recommend that uh, that it's one to be sipped and savoured, if not shared, uh, with three and a half standard drinks in the can. Uh, let's have a quick read of what's on the on the back here. This Imperial Stout started its journey a year ago. Might note uh, for people like me who take a keen interest in grammar punctuation and pronunciation that uh, it contains an apostrophe it should not it's uh, not being used as a contraction there and you never use an apostrophe of possession with it so there you go this imperial stout started its journey a year ago and then condensation on the can and then patiently bit its bit its time in the finest of charred rum barrels out of bricks distillery it was then blended back into a decadent pastry stout filled with super dark malts, cacao powder, vanilla and desiccated coconut made specially for the 2024 Gabs Festival. A true bounty fit for the most cunning 
of bee hunters. Coconut. Coconut. Did I get the coconut? The vanilla is prominent. The, uh, the influence of the rum barrel is noticeable. The chocolate, definitely. The coconut. Yeah, look, the coconut is there. The coconut is there, but it's not as prominent in a couple of other coconut beers that I've had recently. Um, so, so it's there, it's playing a part, um, but not the star of the show. One more sip, we better give it a score. Um, sessionability, no. Price point, uh, as I said, I bought it five months ago. Um, can't remember how much I paid, but uh, use your imagination, it was expensive. It's amazing. If you're a fan of big stouts, uh, then I reckon you'd love this one. I am. I do. It's an unequivocal five out of five. It's a five out of five for the Bounty Hunter Rum Barrel Age Stout from Seeker. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time on Hetzby Reviews.